Hey folks, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and I just want to give you guys a quick tour here of MeTweets 2.0. This app is not available yet on the marketplace, but this updated version will be landing within the next week or so. You can of course download the current MeTweets from the Windows Phone store that came up about five months ago. It's a very strong and popular Twitter client. Uh, great design, minimalist, but a lot of features too. So launching the app here, you can see this is optimized for Windows Phone 8. This is the TVS and we get that full 720 resolution and it fills it completely. You can also see it does uh, inline images, including SkyDrive inline images, which is gonna be very useful. You have your new tweet counter right there. And scrolling down, of course, we'll refresh that. And if you scroll down a little bit further, it'll do that pull to refresh trick, which is very popular out there. Uh, the app itself runs very smoothly with no errors. And, you know, it's been just a real joy to use. Uh, I love coming across articles and seeing, say, like images like this. You can just tap, open it, save it. Very good. It also works like that for articles. So we'll do this ours one and we can just view the tweet here and of course you can just open that link in internet explorer but if you want to say you know keep with an experience you can open a readability mode and it's going to strip all the formatting from that article and make it very minimalist and you just have text and the image and so if you're on the go you're trying to save data or you just want to you know quickly peek at a story without loading your browser this is a great method to do it you can also have a great search engine right here. So you have your normal search people. You can search for images. So if I type in Nokia, in fact, that Nokia image was just going around. You can see it's going to bring down all images from Twitter. And this is exceptionally useful, I think. Uh, you know, if you're even looking for phones or whatever you want, you can just do searches for, and it's going to bring down images. You can tap on any image to get more information for it. If you go to just regular search and we type in, say, YouTube, that too is built in. And I, like I said, I'm a big fan of this uh, keeping within the Twitter experience. I don't like having to hop out of my app. And so these are all YouTube videos. You can see it gives you a quick little preview of where you want to click beforehand. And then you just tap and it's going to launch into a portrait or landscape player. So you get the idea, but it's really convenient to be able to obviously stay within the app and not have to leave. So just imagine if that was in your regular Twitter stream, you could just go right back to viewing your tweets. Uh, you also have automatic spam control in this. So if someone tweeted you a link with no message, it would automatically be filtered. Uh, there's multi-part tweeting to this. So if you write over 140 characters, this will auto split your messages for you. But as you're writing, you can just write one, which is really good. Uh, likewise, if someone else did that, it would recombine the messages for you. Uh, there are voice commands built into this as well and lock screen notifications. So in fact, I can me tweets, new tweet. This is a test. Do you want to tweet? This is a test. Cancel. And so just, you know, I don't want to send that tweet out, but if I wanted to, I could just tell it yes and it would have sent a tweet. And so that's how that basically works. So having those voice commands, very useful. When you also go write a regular uh, message, you do have that option to do uh, voice dictation, which should be convenient for a lot of people out there whose hands may be busy. You do, of course, still have streaming on board. So if you tap the little button, it'll pull down everything live as it goes through, which is very good. And other than that, it's a great app. We'll see more of this in the next week or so, but head to Windows Phone Central and we'll have more information. Take care, bye.